Hello. Just a quick update here. It's been a while since I've uh, put up a video here. I don't even know how long it's been. I'll have to post that in the uh, title once I figure it out after I record this. But uh, the tank is going very well. Um, I've got a few additions in here. Uh, this one is very recent. Just got this uh, a couple days ago. It's a uh, pink torch coral. Um, it's got like six heads on it. Um, and it's doing pretty good. It seems to be expanding very nicely here. I had to kind of make room for it. Um, that rock in the back actually was forward a little bit. And I had to move it back so that uh, I could make room for this really big torch coral. It was a little bigger than uh, I thought it would be. Um, or at least that I wanted. Uh, but, uh, it was, uh, it would look so good in the, uh, in the tank in the fish shop that I couldn't resist, so I splurged for it. Uh, otherwise, everything in here is doing pretty good. Uh, there's a few other small additions. This thing, look at how it's spreading all over that rock. It used to just be on the very top. And, uh, now it's spread all the way down towards the front of this rock. And then these guys here, this has been growing uh, very nicely. It's actually the branching variety of, uh, of this coral. Um, and you can see down at the bottom here how it kind of curls up and then starts creating a new branch. So that's pretty cool. Um, got a couple of mushrooms here. There's actually uh, four of them here. There's the one up front. And there's one back here that's slightly getting covered up by the orange one in the back. And that orange one is actually, I can focus this on it, is actually split into two heads, or it's starting to split. So that's new. Um, these polyps here, some of them are closed off because the snail and the crab's been running over the top of it. Um, it's actually... It, it's doing all right right there. Um, don't know if I really like it, though. It just seems to be like, kind of like an El Cheapo one. Um, there's a shop in uh, Huntington Beach that I found. Um, had a really good price. It was like 30 bucks for three different uh, corals. And that was one of the ones that I got um, along with this little red mushroom. Um, that kind of fell over just now, or not too long ago, so i got to flip it back. But it does a good job of uh, realigning itself. It kind of crawls over the top or spreads out over the top if it falls upside down. And then uh, it had this little star polyp here, although I don't know if this thing died or what. Um, I wasn't very thrilled with it when I got it at home. Um, it wasn't very bright. It was kind of brown. I don't know if, it, if something was wrong with it, you know, when I got it right off the bat. But a couple days ago, I, it kind of closed up and it has not really opened up other than a couple of small, uh, small heads there at the bottom. So we'll see how it's doing. It was actually sitting up top over here uh, before I moved it because um, I thought maybe it's getting too much light or something. I don't know. And then this guy here, I really like this. This guy, I don't know if it's like called the uh, Spider-Man, or, you know, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of different names for these things, but basically under the, uh, the blue lights, it, it really looks like little splotches of uh, webbing that Spider-Man would shoot out. Um, so that's what I'm calling it, at least. But it, it looks great under the lights, very bright. Um, that used to be over here on top of this rock, but I had to move it. it used to be sitting right there, and if you could see... Right in the center, there's a couple left over right there. Because um, when I moved it, in order to move this rock, it kind of tore off a few pieces. So I'm hoping they continue to grow and spread over there because I really like the coloring on those guys. Uh, but for right now, I kind of tossed them up there just to uh, get them out of the way because I, I had to move them in order to move the rock back a little bit and make more room for the torch coral. Uh, as far as fish, the two clowns are doing fine. 
I'm hoping one day they come over here and sit in a torch coral or try to host in it. Um, I actually moved my pump from one end to the other in order to kind of minimize some of the flow over the torch coral. Um, cause if I have the pump on the left hand side, um, there was just, it seemed to be a lot of flow hitting the, uh, the torch coral in that location. So, uh, ended up moving that pump the other day when I got the, the torch coral in the tank and started adjusting the flow. And the shrimp is doing great. He's looking kind of like the star of the show. Everybody that comes over, anybody that sees this guy, they love him. He, he's real fun when he feeds. He just, when I feed the tank, he'll, he'll, he'll go flying all around, chasing food and everything. Real character. So that's it for now. Quick update, and uh, I'll try to do them a little more often.